Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I want to share with you a challenge for the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Of course, you could also just use this for your own personal use. What we're going to do this month is make a pocket to hold a mini journal. So I'll show you the whole process quite easily is is to create a mini journal. In my case, my journal is a piece of cardstock that I have trimmed to be eight inches by six inches. Basically, you can get two out of a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook cardstock. The inside is a variety, like this is some graph paper, this is scrapbook paper, a book page, this is some notebook paper. I just put four pages in mine. Put as many as you like. I was trying to keep it relatively compact to put inside my bigger journal. Then I've got a few pieces here. This is some scrapbook paper and this is one of Norella's of Calco Collage's designs. I think this is from her I think if you put Daisy in, this is part of that Daisy kit. And it was an eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I told my printer to print it as a five by seven image. Then I cut that in half. So I end up with two basic panels. So what we're going to do is just glue these together. Just going to use Aline's tacky glue. Okay. And then I will place this in the center of my mini journal. Now, if you want, you could sew on this piece and get that stitch effect and then glue it down. You could actually sew it onto the cover. I wanted to leave this open and decided this time I didn't need the stitches. All right, so I got those layers. And then from Beeline Designs, I have this little butterfly that I have colored and fussy cut out. And I think I'm just going to place that across the middle. Before I lay that down, I was just looking. I have a little bundle of, these are threads that whenever I cut my sewing machine or whenever I hand dye fabric, and these are the ends that come off. So I've been saving them. And I think this one's kind of red, white, and blue, but maybe here's one. This one's kind of got some teals and greens in it. And so what I want to do is kind of get a little piece of this. Okay, I think something like that. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here to kind of help hold that in place. And then take my butterfly and put it over the top of it. Got an acrylic block I'm going to lay on top to help smoosh that down into place. While that's drying, I've got from my rubber stamp set, this is uh, Memories, and I've stamped it on a scrap, and I've got a little scrap of fabric here, and let's trim this, and I'll glue these two together. To have some more inspiration on making these mini journals, I did a live stream on August the 29th, and you can go back and watch that and see all the journals I made. I'll do a quick flip through here at the end. All right, so I'm just going to glue this piece down in the corner here. Put my acrylic black back on to help hold that in place. And then let's find some bling. I think something like this will work. I want to put some right down the spine of the butterfly. So this is adhesive backed rhinestones and they come in a strip. So I'm just cutting it apart and I'll use my scissors to help pull it up. I just noticed I have glue on my thumbnail. <laughs> All right, and then we'll just place this down the center. It just gives a little bling on there. So there's our journal. So you can make as many of these as you want, as big as you want or as small as you want. I did make my pages just a fraction of an inch. I mean, like uh, probably not even an eighth smaller than my cover so that they didn't poke out. If you want to do it that way, you could also tear your pages, whatever you like. All right. So we've got a journal base made. So I want a pocket to go on top. 
So what I've done is I've taken a piece of transparency film and I cut it because you won't be able to see it, but I've cut it to be five by seven because I wanted it large enough that you could see the journal behind it. Then I have one of my mixed media papers. So during the month of August, I had a direct to paper mixed media painting papers and it was a recorded video and I believe it was around August the 15th probably. I'll have links in the description box below. So I made a bunch of painted papers and what I want to do is cut this one. I'll cut one inch strips and I need four strips. You want to make sure that your paper is at least bigger than your transparency film. You can also use packaging, wherever you can get a piece of clear plastic. You want something that's stiff, so you, cellophane won't work, um, but you can use packaging or a transparency film. Acetate is another name for the film. And I have a little scrap left over, so I have a bin that I put it in back here. All right, so I've got these four pieces, and I've got my distress ink. I forgot to do it on my example, so I'm going to do it on this one. And I want to go down the edge of what will be closest to the front. All right, so we're going to glue these strips to our acetate, and I have found that the best for me right now, this glue, Fabri-Tac Permanent Adhesive, which bonds to fabric, lace, glass, leather, woods, and trims. It doesn't say plastic, but I was able to get it to work before. I have found that it has a tendency to have little strings, so you want to work quickly and try not to get too much glue out at a time. So I'm going right near the edge of the transparency film and I'll cap my glue. And then this is a one inch strip. So what I want to do is start it in the glue and then kind of push it up and I'll turn mine over and it may be hard for y'all to see it, but I will basically move that piece of paper towards the inside and get it to where it's a half an inch on the front and about a half an inch on the back. Actually, it's better if you have more that comes down on the front and this is a little bit smaller. So that's one side. And now I'm going to do this side. I'm just smoothing that out. And then I'll use my scissors to cut off the excess. And now I'm going to do this edge. And I'll trim off the excess, and then we'll do this last edge. And then I'll save these extra little bits. We may use them somewhere else some other day. All right, so now I've got all the way around my piece of transparency film. You want to make sure that you give it a chance to dry and that there's not any glue seeping out beyond your edges. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and cut these right as a angle or take a cornel off, a triangle piece off. And you can save these or not. I'm going to throw mine away. <laughs> All right. So now what I want to do is take my edges and fold them to the inside. This is going to help make my pocket piece that I can use in my journal. So I folded all of those tabs to the inside. Now, depending on your journal, if you want your pocket to be a top load, then you can just glue this piece down so that when you put your stuff in, it doesn't hang on it. If you want it to be a side load, then just glue down one of these side pieces and you'll be able to take your journal in and out. So what I was going to show you was you can take this piece. I guess I could get a, a fake journal, so let me do that. So let's say you have a journal page 
And you could take this piece. Now, if you want, you can position it on your page to where you can see what's underneath it. But I would glue this tab down here and here. I would close this tab back and lay that onto my page. And then this would slide into my pocket like so. And you would have a pocket for your journal. Now, if you want, you could add additional decoration on the front of this. I'm going to leave it until I'm ready to glue it into my journal. Let me show you a few other journals that I made. Here's some other pockets as well. So you can get two out of a eight and a half by 11 sheet of transparency film. So here's one. And then here's the journal that I made. And here's another. And then here's some other journals that I made during my live stream. And a couple of them I made right after I got off the live stream because I was trying to use up some of the supplies I had on my desk. But I show the basic concept on how to make these on my live stream from August the 29th. Well, I hope that this challenge gets your juices flowing and you get in your crafty space and get creative and join us in the friendly junk journal people facebook group make the project take a photo and share it within the event inside the group at the end of the month we'll draw a random person who has participated and that random person will get a ten dollar off coupon to my shop all right everybody we'll see you at the next video thank you so much for watching today have a fabulous day bye everybody